Hey, John Cristana here, and I'm gonna talk about how to save a lot of money fast. Now, I've saved millions of dollars personally, and I'm gonna go over my top three steps for saving lots of money fast in this video. Get out a pen, get out a notepad, and let's get it. So the first step to saving a lot of money fast is to literally just make a list of all your expenses. Most people have not taken the actual time to list out all of their individual expenses that they have each month. And it really helps to list them out in a Google sheet so you can actually just see everything visually. Write down what the expense is, what day it's due, and what the charges on your card will be. And then just break things down into different categories, rent, utilities, personal, business, etc., and list them out. One good app that we use in my family is Mint, which is great at categorizing a lot of expenses automatically for us. Anything that is a liability where you're just wasting money should be marked in red. So you know that this is an easy thing you can get rid of. And if you're struggling with money, eliminate these for now. And no, you don't have to eliminate these forever. You may not need your Netflix subscription. You may not need your cable TV subscription. You may not need a bunch of things. But if you're struggling for money, get rid of it. Don't even think. Just get rid of it. You can always come back to them when your business or your side hustle or your job is making you extra money. If you're doing affiliate marketing, figure out how much you need to sell online or figure out how many extra hours you need to work if you're doing Uber or driving Lyft or something to cover those expenses. And now you should have a crystal clear idea of what you need to shoot for versus having uncertainty and just kind of playing things whimsically like what most people do in their lives. The second step you want to take is focus on increasing your income. Lots of people only focus on saving money and not making more money. I know Susie Orman and Dave Ramsey and all these big financial gurus only talk about saving money, but you're never going to become rich. You're never going to have substantial savings if that's all you focus on. You need to focus on increasing your money because then you have more to save. And you can only do so much saving from the current amount you're earning. Increasing your income needs to be a constant priority for you. Be willing to take time away from recreation to focus on income growth. I have a lot of videos where I show you people how to make money online, what I do to make millions of dollars a year called affiliate marketing. Now, when that new money comes in, save it instead of blowing it right away. I know a lot of people in my industry who make a lot of money, but they spend it just as fast as they get it. Again, if you wanna make money, if you wanna be wealthy, you need to keep it. You'll soon have enough save to not be stressing about a savings plan. Then you just rinse and repeat and keep the earnings growing and saving more. Now, in my business, I earn over a hundred some thousand dollars a month in profits. Yet, I pay myself a salary of $20,000 a month. Why don't I pay myself more? Why don't I spend more? Because I want to save as much money as possible. Look, I'm not living in a multi, multi-million dollar mansion. Again, I take my my money and I save it. I don't spend it. Even though I'm earning over $100,000 a month, I save it. I don't spend it. I don't own a Lamborghini. I rent Lamborghinis. This is just common sense. Yet lots of people, when they start earning over $100,000 a month consistently, they just spend it all. That is a poor mindset. And once you're doing these two things, you're saving money, you're getting rid of your expenses frequently, you're earning more money, you want to start looking at your time and how you can maximize your time. And this brings me to the third step is outsource so you have more time to make more money. This might sound counterintuitive, but it works really well. And it's how I've been able to create a $7 million a year business as a single person with no employees. If you spend time making more money, you have more to save, just as I mentioned before. But most people don't have the time to make more money because they're always so busy in their business. So start freeing up that time to make more money by outsourcing tasks that can be outsourced. Outsourcing doesn't have to be expensive. You can always start off small, but this gives you more and more and more and more time in the day to work on your business, doing things that are not duplicatable. 
things that require your brain. And that's more money you save because you're being more productive. And if you do everything yourself, you barely have time to even make more money. Many of us are stuck in this quandary where we just don't have time to do anything else. Outsource the things that don't make you money directly to somebody else. Then take the freshly opened time block and focus on more income producing activities. Again, just take the new money you're making from these and actually save it. Some examples of what I do is instead of doing a lot of marketing myself, I teach it to others, help them become affiliate marketers for my product. Because again, I know that posting messages, sending DMs on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and posting ads on YouTube and Google and Facebook all make money. But doing all of these methods myself is not the most efficient use of my time because it's so duplicatable for me. So I teach it and I help other affiliates earn money doing it. Another example is these videos. I don't edit these videos. I don't even write the scripts. I have a team in the Philippines who does topics based off of what topics I know, based off of conversations we have. So all of the editing and a lot of the uploading and the thumbnails and all the work that is duplicatable is done by somebody else. And I don't have to spend my time doing it. I just do the most important things, which is connecting with you and telling my personal stories that support all of the points that I'm trying to make. Another example of this is software. I know that building software is very important for my business, but again, I have somebody else do that, customer support. I have an agency, I outsourced my customer support because again, it isn't worth my time to be answering everybody's ticket. So I always level up by outsourcing work that is not necessarily worth my time anymore. And I measure all of this. I focus my time on just the most important things that require either my brain or my face to be in front of it. And by working that way, I've been able to continually build more and more and more leverage in my business so that I can make more and more money. So I hope that makes sense. And if you enjoy these wealth building tips and whatnot, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every single day on affiliate marketing, on marketing, on asteroid mining, on anything I'm interested in. And also every Monday I do a live Q and A session. If you want to interact with me directly and ask me something that hopefully you can't find on Google or in one of my previous videos. If you do want to ask other people in my community things and you want to get started right now, make sure to join my Discord channel. The link is in the description where you can join my community and start interacting with other marketers who are on their journey to making money online. And again, if you want to learn free traffic methods for doing affiliate marketing, no matter what age you are, no matter what country you're in, make sure to go down to the description and look up my free traffic videos. Also check out my channel. You can find information about my story, how I've been able to make a lot of money on the internet. And I look forward to interacting with you more and adding more value to your day. Thanks for watching. See you soon.